but its own scientists disagree. Has NASA lowered its scientific standards to score political points? Joining us from Houston, former Apollo 7 astronaut Walter Cunningham. He signed a letter to NASA's chief condemning the agency's position on climate change. Good morning, Mr. Cunningham. How are you? Good morning. How are you this early? I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing real well. You seem to be pretty <laughs> fired up. Let's see what the complaint letter said. As former NASA employees, we feel that NASA's advocacy of an extreme position prior to a thorough study of the possible overwhelming impact of natural climate drivers is inappropriate. Is this about uh, politics? And you talk about it's going to cause uh, damage to the reputation of, of, of NASA and to science itself. Is this well, about politics or about science as to what NASA is doing now? Well, there's really uh, two issues here. <clears throat> the first is whether this, uh, the new hypothesis that the alarmists are pushing on us, whether that in fact is valid or not, that humans are causing uh, global warming. That's the first issue. The second issue is whether NASA should be out front taking a what has now become a very politicized uh, position when you start talking about uh, human caused global warming. Well, let's take, uh, let's, take the, about, let, let's take apart the two issues. Um, is okay. uh, what's the cause of climate change? Well, the cause of climate change, we've been studying climate change now for centuries. And uh, there's a lot of factors that uh, account for climate change. The, the probably the most significant one is uh, the sun itself and various other cycles that the earth find itself in. But uh, about 20 or 22 years ago, something like that, the so-called alarmists now uh, came up with a hypothesis that says, no, 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 uh, we're the responsible for this uh, global warming. And uh, when that started getting questioned fairly significantly, they decided to change it to climate change. Nobody uh can disagree with climate change. And, and, and as a final question, do you believe that NASA is going to back down on this or will this fight continue? Well, I think that they've got a lot of pressure on them to not back down. You know, they came out with a statement a couple of days ago which said basically they're just presenting science, but that's not really the case. Uh, this week, for example, uh, you had Jim, James Hansen there. He said climate change is the moral equivalency of slavery. and He wants a world, worldwide tax on carbon emissions. That's definitely a political position, and in the old days, I was there for about eight years with NASA, uh, you weren't allowed to take political positions. You were a government agency getting funded, and you weren't allowed to take sides on those things. Walter NASA, Cunningham, in fact, is being cited on it. Thank